There's chopsticks and my van. And I have come out today to remove the shrink wrap. This is like the official start of my spring launch process. And I'm gonna take you along with me. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope everybody's staying safe and having an awesome day. Looks like I'm gonna have the same mooring this summer as I did last summer. It's a pretty nice floating dock more than accommodates uh, my boat chopsticks and good stuff. It looks like they're doing some uh, some repair work to it. Look forward to uh, having some new planks there on the walkway. All good stuff. Hey, in case anybody's wondering, summer mooring for the slip I've chose, which is a floating dock, is $2,125. Of course, I believe the mooring is 15 by 45, so definitely long enough to accommodate uh, chopsticks. All right, so there's really no particular process I think you have to follow. It's really just how you decide to do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the zipper door so I can reuse it for next year. And then I think I'll probably just go kind of around the top and the peak and split it down the middle and I can peel it down the sides and cut the shrink wrap into small pieces and take it home and put it in recycling because it is recyclable. And uh, hope it won't take too long, but let's get started. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna kind of take my razor knife and cut along the outside perimeter. You can see, already kind of opened her up a bit. Okay. Okay, well, as you can see, I've already made a lot of progress. It's almost just like peeling a banana. It goes, comes down so much quicker than it goes up, but that's to be expected, right? Okay. Let's see, I got a couple piles here on the port side. So, there's the piles on the starboard side. Good to see her winter coat off of her. It just makes me happy in a way you can't imagine. Of course, anybody that has a boat out there, I'm sure you can completely relate. And now it's gonna be time to cut all the vents out so I can reuse them next year. Um, cut the shrink wrap to manageable pieces, create a, a pile, tie it together with some of the banding that I have that's laying on the ground and uh, I'll take it home and cut it in smaller pieces to recycle. Okay, here we go. I got the shrink wrap all kind of cut up and reduced into two big pieces. Uh, I kind of wrapped up and tied off and uh, I should be able to put those in my recycling next week, so. And here is chopsticks. Put her booms on, put her bimini on mainsail on. I'm going to put the headsail on to put the uh, rebuild that bowsprit platform and put the bowsprit pulpit back on, put the lifelines on. And I'm going to rough up and repaint the bottom with blue. And um, that's just the start. There's other things I need to do. I need to change the oil, I need to polish the fuel, so it's a work in process. Okay, all done for the day. As you can see, I got the shrink wrap off. I have the boom for the main and the boom for the mizzen on. And she's looking a whole lot more like a sailboat, at least than she did earlier today.